is irrelevant. I am here as a representative of Max God Save the Queen Ebert. This is a statement from the Queen. <laughs> Dear, oh. <laughs> Dear future subjects of the University of California, Berkeley, it has come to my attention that your once prestigious university is in dire straits. The poisons of the representative government and partisan politics have delegitimated the sovereign rulers of the United Student Body. Yes. Alas, I, the Queen of England, understand the situation all too well, as similar ills have befallen my own great nation. The Prime Minister and his fools believe they might as well be running the country these days without seeing that in the long term they are only tearing its people apart. Tell it, Queen! The yeah. people look to me, yeah. the Queen of England, <laughs> for guidance in terms in times of crises. They look to my upstanding example, to my thoroughbred horse breeding, my extravagant jubilees, and of course my keen skill at Scottish country dancing. <laughs> and you, Berkeley, should you agree to do away with representative government and reinstate the British monarchy, you too can, led, can be led out of these dark times. It was not so long ago that the Americas were part of the glorious Britian Empire. Please accept my gracious invitation and let our brilliant destinies reunite under the crown of the Queen Mother. Sincerely, Queen Elizabeth II. So, uh, first I'd like to start about telling you a little history of what the Straw Operations Board is for anyone who's not familiar. In 1998, the ASUC was about $2 million in debt. And the university gave the UC, ASUC an ultimatum to dissolve or to accept uh, the creation of the Store Operations Board and the ASUC Auxiliary, which is actually an administrative branch of the ASUC, part of the campus. Problems I see with the Store Operations Board are just that its creation uh, was a usurpation of student autonomy in a big way. And that's what the ASUC has right now, is the semi-autonomous body that we are. Now this year, the Store Operations Board is more important than ever. With the Bears Initiative going on, it is making decisions that will go on until 2017. I just got back from a Store Operations Board meeting two hours ago. And they were deciding on one, um, a meditation space in Tilden. This has been fought for by students for many years. And I can tell you that what's so frustrating is that it's like students have to fight for our own space. Really, the Store Operations Board um, is being restructured right now. This is an important thing that the current Senate, which I sit on, is going to be decided. They want to move to a UCLA model, which will have more students on the board but kind of insulated from the ASUC. This has pros and cons and definitely needs to be debated more and I hope it is in the coming weeks. I agree with Elliot that the Operations Board is impeding the autonomy of the Associated Student Body and overall I think this is actually a deeper issue of um, autonomy like, and the fact that the ASUC isn't really adequately representing the students as a whole and so if that isn't happening then really the students don't even have their own autonomy in their own government. So <laughs> to counteract this, besides just the store operations board, um, I think we should really kind of dismantle the walls preventing our students from participating in the bureaucratic process and feel through the language, but it's like getting rid of the bureaucratic bullshit that is keeping students out of their own student government. Um, a way we could do this is first of all, <laughs> maybe like getting rid of Robert's rules, which were not intended to limit democracy, but that's really what they're doing right now because they're alienating students from participating in uh, the democratic process. And um, also by like reaching out to students through social media and really aggressively pursuing more students to get involved like through Facebook and YouTube so that they can 
really be aware of the issues going on and we can like, collectively decide on better decisions um, so that we don't have like smaller factions deciding for themselves, like store operations board or um, you know other semi-autonomous groups making big decisions for the entire campus.